Rad Tracker presents VRD, Variable Ratio Differential. For more than a hundred years, the automotive industry has struggled to solve a problem, a way to mechanically control differential wheel speed in a turn while still driving both axles. There is no type of differential that works best for every situation. Hmm, or is there? Rad Tracker has a solution. When a four-wheeled vehicle enters a turn, the inner and outer wheels require different rotational speeds. The problem is, how do you apply torque to both wheels while operating at different RPMs? The second challenge is, what happens when one tire is on pavement and the other is on ice? How do you apply torque to one wheel and not the other? On top of that, how is this accomplished in a turn? All of these problems are easily solved with a variable ratio differential, or VRD for short. In order to understand the significance of a VRD, first we must explore how conventional differentials operate. Unfortunately, all differentials on the market today operate as a reactive system. They react to the difference in tire grip between each wheel. Let's say you lift a vehicle off the ground, both rear tires will rotate at the same RPM regardless of driver input or vehicle mode selected. Tire grip and road conditions dictate how the differential will respond. A variable ratio differential takes the exact opposite approach to solve this problem. A VRD controls differential wheel speed based on steering angle of the front wheels. This means the differential controls the wheels instead of the wheels controlling the differential. In fact, VRD will match the correct wheel speed whether on pavement, ice, or completely off the ground. When the tire returns to the ground, there is no disruption to handling because wheel speed is still matched to the surface speed. This is the ultimate differential for any off-road vehicle or road racing car. For the first time, a mechanic can increase performance by tuning how much differential wheel speed is required to steer the rear end around the corner. Full throttle is applied much sooner as both wheels remain engaged full time and never fight each other for grip. This is a race car tuner's dream come true. Open differential. Let's take a closer look at the common differentials on the market today so you will better understand the benefits of a VRD equipped vehicle. The first differential was invented by a watchmaker back in 1827. This ingenious design is still used by the majority of vehicles on the road today. It works great on pavement and anytime both wheels have good grip. Both axles receive torque from the engine and are permitted to rotate at different RPMs. However, there is a problem. Torque will take the path of least resistance. The moment one tire is unloaded or leaves the ground, that tire spins out while the other provides no driving force. An open differential provides a 50-50 torque split to both wheels regardless of the situation. The spider gears exert the same torque to both side gears even if one wheel stops. The second problem is similar. What happens when one tire makes contact with a slippery surface? The torque to either wheel can only be as much as the wheel that slips. For instance, if the tire on the snow provides a tangent force of 100 pounds, then the opposite tire on pavement will experience the same 100 pounds force. The tire on pavement may not be spinning, but it still receives the same torque to the wheel. Both wheels communicate through the spider gears in the differential. Obviously, more driving force is available on the pavement side, but there is no mechanism to apply increased torque to that wheel. An open differential may have the worst performance off-road, but it is the most fuel efficient. There is no energy loss from turning a corner. Now, VRD has the efficiency of an open differential and the traction 
of a locker. Limited slip differential. A limited slip differential, or LSD, is an open differential with a set of shim packs to resist the relative rotation between both side gears of the spider assembly. Limited slip is, well, a misleading term used to market this type of differential. Technically, there is no function to limit tire slip. An LSD functions as a locked rear axle until there is enough difference in wheel torque to overcome the friction discs. On snow, there is not enough grip to create a difference in wheel torque to make the clutch pack slip. Therefore, both wheels spin at the same RPM. This does overcome the previous traction difference problem, but it does not limit wheel slip any different than a locked rear axle. Over time, LSD shim packs will wear out and slowly revert back to an open differential. Off-road, an LSD can still slip the clutch pack resulting in one wheel drive. If one wheel is unloaded or off the ground, the torque to the loaded wheel can become higher than the torque required to move the vehicle forward and the clutch packs will slip. Torque to the loaded tire is now limited by the holding power of the clutch packs. During a constant speed turn, the inside wheel attempts to drive at the same RPM as the outside wheel. On pavement, the clutch packs slip to allow the tires to match surface speeds. An LSD is always generating heat and creating power loss while turning on paved roads. What may not be so obvious is the resulting conflict between both tires. The clutch packs create opposing forces to the ground as both tires compete for grip. This conflict becomes obvious off-road and on slippery surfaces. The clutch packs have more holding power than tire grip. The inside tire attempts to drive faster than the surface speed and chews its way around the turn. Both rear tires attempt to resist the turn. The front tires fight to steer a rear axle that wants to travel straight. This increases the turning radius, creates understeer, and pushes the front tires through the turn. All four tires are fighting each other for grip. A VRD system solves this problem by matching wheel speed in a turn. This produces increased traction as both tires deliver equal driving force to the wheels. A conventional four-wheel lock differential delivers equal driving force to the ground in a straight line, but as soon as you steer, all four wheels fight each other for grip. A four-wheel drive VRD system delivers the same driving force to all four wheels whether traveling in a straight line or a turn. Torque Vectoring Differential A torque vectoring differential is an open differential with various additional computer-controlled clutch packs and mechanisms. This is still a reactive system that generates heat and energy loss in a turn. Sensors monitor wheel speed difference to control clutch slip. Power flow is reduced to the wheels that spin or require slower rotational speeds. Same as the others, no more than 50% of the power is available to each wheel. This is the most advanced differential on the market today. It is also the most expensive, heavy, and complex. By comparison, a VRD delivers everything a torque vectoring differential offers without the cost, weight, and complexity. It is very important to understand VRD can deliver all the power to one wheel when the other is off the ground. A spool or locked rear end can equally do this, but they have no differential capability. Tracked Vehicle Brake Steer System A brake steer is an open differential with left and right axle brakes to control direction of travel. Some other terms are called differential steer, skid steer, track steer, and tank steer. At Rad Tracker, we prefer to use the following terms to describe tracked vehicle motion. A pivot turn to mean one track stop while the other drives. In other words, the vehicle pivots on one track to make the turn. The term called zero turn to mean when both tracks turn in the opposite direction. Others may call this neutral steer. The same mechanical principles apply here as with the open differential. Half the torque goes to the brake applied axle. The other half goes to the driven axle. The driven axle doubles in speed when one side is stopped. Regardless, either axle can only receive half the torque. That is why the engine labors so hard when you steer. Here you can see a major problem with brake steer vehicles. 
If you attempt to steer while climbing a hill, only one track drives and you spin out. The inside track must stop to force only the outside track to drive. This works on level ground, but with only a slight slope, the tracks fight each other for grip. You have to stay straight or you get stuck. V or D is the only differential capable of driving both tracks in a turn. A big challenge for brake steers is the ability to travel in a straight line. The vehicle will naturally wander in either direction. It requires constant left-right brake input to stay straight. Many factors can influence a change in direction, such as objects, bumps, slope, grooves, and a difference in rolling resistance for each track. This is the main reason why these vehicles have not progressed beyond 40 km per hour. It's simply not safe to do so. Variable Ratio Differential Now that you understand how other drive systems work, let's dive into what makes a variable ratio differential so unique. VRD is a 2-in-1 transmission and differential. Twin CVTs are placed in mirror formation. Only the left CVT transfers torque to the left axle. Only the right CVT transfers torque to the right axle. Both CVTs operate independently through the full speed range until there is a steering input. Differential steering is achieved by manipulating the difference in belt squeeze. All copper colored components are part of the primary movable sheaves. The blue push rods connect the movable sheaves through the green rocker arms mounted to the purple differential arm that provides a path for both CVTs to communicate. The green rocker arms rotate to accommodate width change during upshift and downshift. This simple mechanism holds both CVTs in perfect symmetry during racial change. The aqua colored push-pull rod receives input direct from any steering mechanism for twin track vehicles. With four-wheel applications, this link can be connected to the front wheel steering linkage. This aqua push-pull rod pivots the purple differential arm on its bearing mounted axis to create a difference in belt squeeze. For a right turn, the right CVT downshifts. At the same ratio, the left side upshifts. A downshift will increase engine RPM. An upshift will decrease RPM. These opposing loads cancel each other out and prevent any feedback to the engine during differential steering. Yes, you heard that right. VRD does not load the engine when you steer. Do not be fooled by the simplicity of this drive system. It does what no other system can do. This VRD equipped high speed amphibian called RT5, which stands for Rad Tracker 5 seater, drives straight as an arrow at speeds up to 120 km an hour. RT2 has reached speeds of 137 km per hour on land and 77 km an hour on water. This requires extremely precise track speed control, not possible with any other system. See the red dot on the screen? Notice how RT5 holds this straight heading at over 90 km per hour down an off-camber back road without any wander. The default direction of travel for a VRD drive is straight ahead. The faster you travel, the higher the forces are that keep the vehicle traveling straight. As speed increases, more steering effort is required. If you let go of the steering controls at any speed, the VRD will instantly return back to the centered position and travel straight. 